Alrighty, so in this video I'm going to go over how to import Monster Hunter World models and animations into Blender. It's going to be very similar to the Rise video, if you've seen that. I'm going to go over all of the programs and plugins you'll need, uh, and then just a very quick overview of how to do it. Uh, of course there's more information either on Darto's uh, uh, modding wiki, which I think we don't actually have World uh, pages as of right now, as of today, but those will be there eventually. Uh, otherwise, you can just use the Monster Hunter World modding wiki. I'll have links to everything in the description. Uh, so, first things first, uh, we'll need to open up our World folder. Um, unfortunately, I uninstalled World because, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I did 100% the game and I didn't play it in like two years, so I got rid of it. Um, so, I don't actually have all of the files on my computer, but it sh I should have enough of them that you'll be able to figure out how to get things. So, in order to open up the World folder, what you would normally do is right click on World go to Properties, Installed Files, then click Browse, and that will bring you to this Monster Hunter World folder here. Um, and so this is where all the files will be. And what you're looking for is this chunk folder. Now normally if you have the game installed, uh, I don't, I just have this leftover stuff. You'd go in here and there'd be a bunch of chunk files, and then what you would do is you would use the Monster Hunter World No Chunk uh, application, and you take the chunk file, you drag it into this window, and then it'll open up a big list of all the files, and then there's little tick boxes next to each of them, so you can extract either only the folders you want, or you can just take the uh, parent folder and extract everything. Uh, what I recommend is if you go down here and click Merge All Chunks, if you drag every single chunk from the chunk folder into here, and then extract the very top folder, it'll extract everything from every chunk, which means you'll get every monster, every weapon, every animation, every uh, armor. Everything like that. Uh, I only recommend that though if you have the space for everything because it's a lot of files. Otherwise you can just kind of cherry pick which monsters and which weapons you need uh, for when you need them. So once you do that, what it should give you is this chunk folder. Uh, and then in this chunk folder of course is all of the, uh, the, the models, like WT is weapon, PL is armors, and then EM is monsters. Uh, for this tutorial I'll just go over monsters because that's the easiest thing to do. Uh, but all the animation and model stuff should be the same for all the models. So after you have your uh, models here, we'll go to the wiki and there's a monster ID list uh, for this tutorial. We'll just go with Nergi since he's the flagship. Uh, so he's EM-103. So we'll go here, find EM-103. And so it's same as Rise, uh, 00 is Nergi and then 05 is Runer. So we'll just go with the normal one. Then we go to the mod folder. And then you see all of this. Um, I have used Nergante before, so some of these things are already converted to DDS and PDNG. Um, but you'll have these .texts if you haven't done anything with them. That's just the Monster Hunter uh, texture format. So next what we'll do is we'll go to Blender. Um, the uh, Mod 3 plugin, which is right here. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description. Uh, only works for Blender 2.79, so note that. Uh, I think it's just because there's Python differences and they don't want to rewrite the entire thing, which is fair. Uh, so here I'm in 2.79, and once you've installed that, which to install it, you just go user preferences, install Atom from file, and then you get the import export mod3 model importer. So we'll go to file, import, mod3, and then we'll go to that chunk file, em, he was 103, 00, zero mod, and then of course we have the mod folder. Uh, so there's a couple of options down here on the bottom left. Of course, clear scene before import, that's what it is, says. Maximize clipping distance, I keep that on because otherwise the model, uh, you can't see all of it because they're really, really big. Um, only import high LOD parts. So world has level of distance uh, meshes, which means that it not only has the one highest quality mesh, but it's got a couple under it that are of lowering uh, polygon counts. So if you need to lower those polygon counts for any reason, I would recommend using uh, unclicking that and then you can use those. Uh, but if you don't care about the polygon account, if you're just using them for like Blender animations or whatever, you don't need to care about that. Uh, don't care about that, don't care about that. Uh, import textures you want, import materials you also want. Um, unlike Rise, since this is in Blender, you don't actually have to manually assign all of the textures or all of the materials. Uh, so you can just click this and it, your monster will basically be ready from the get-go. Um, uh, so another important one is the import skeleton option here. And you want to set that to animation armature because that will actually import the monster with the bones you need to move it around. So then you can load it. Now I just did a jump cut there so you don't have to watch, but Blender will freeze and it will take about like a minute or two to import the model. But now we have Nergante here. Now there he is. Um, if we click on his skeleton, oh, 
and we, you can see that his weights should also work. Yep, everything works there. I want to move his wings. We got that as well. So next up is the animations. So usually I will rotate everything 90 degrees because I think it imports the animations uh, rotated if you don't rotate it beforehand. Uh, we'll select the skeleton, then you go to file, import. So the LMT importer is different from the Mod 3 importer, so you'll want to keep that in mind. Uh, you'll just need to install that one. It's just a separate plugin here. And then, so the LMTs are gonna be in the uh, motion folder here. So LMTs are uh, lists of animations. So if you want a specific animation ID and you know it, I'm not entirely sure if these are listed anywhere. Usually I just keep it as asterisk because that imports everything. Uh, but keep in mind, since these animations, uh, Blender will also freeze again when you import these. So I'll be back in just a second when those all import. All right, so our LMT is imported and you can see here that the animation works. And in order to look through all of the animations that have been imported, You'll go to the dope sheet, you'll change it to down here to the action editor, and then every single animation in that LMT will be a separate animation here. So if I want 56, you can see that 56 is running that way. If I want 30, you can see 30 is walking forward, etc. And uh, I didn't mention yet, but because we imported the materials as well as the textures, you can go to the material view here, and once that loads, you can see that we've got all our materials and everything looks right. Might have to hide a few meshes, like whoop, like his eyes there, so we can actually see his eyelids rather, so we can see the eyes. Uh, oh, don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, so we can see we have all of our animations here and all of our textures. Everything looks right. Uh, now, normally at this point, I would save the file and then open it in like Blender 3.3 because I'm not a super big fan of uh, 2.79. Uh, if you just copy. The model it what it'll do is it'll only take the current action i believe uh, so you don't want to just control c control v you can just file save as and then open this in a higher version of blender uh, but i think that's everything luckily since everything is all contained within blender for world uh, it's a lot easier than rise as far as importing things and getting them to look right uh, and you don't even have to mess with the textures really since those all go on automatically uh, but speaking of i will go over some of the textures real quick just for reference uh, whoops where is our node editor? And where is our material? There we go. Okay, so world models have three main textures. Uh, you've got your BML, I believe this should be, or BM, sorry, uh, which is bump map maybe, I don't know. Point is, this is uh, the color texture or the diffuse. And then you have the RMT, which stands for roughness, metallic transparency. And those are contained in the red, green, and blue channels, uh, respectively. And then you have your normal map, which is just, you know, normal, normal map. Uh, so the, the materials aren't super duper uh, complicated, unlike Rise. They're pretty straightforward. Um, and it sets all of these nodes up automatically for you whenever you import everything. So you don't really have to worry about any of that. Uh, you might notice that it looks like it doesn't have alpha. I'm not entirely sure how to do alpha on 2.79, uh, but you should... It shouldn't be that hard to look up and make sure that you have the alpha blend or whatever set on so that looks correct. Uh, but I think that's everything. Pretty straightforward, again, because the Blender plugin is very, very nice and it does basically everything for you. Um, again, I'll leave all the links for everything down in the description. Uh, so have fun.